Welcome everybody to another awesome edition of Montoys and I am very excited to finally get to open this action figure, man. Let's forget the fact that it has an ugly barcode on the card, man. We ain't tripping about the card. We're going to get this figure out and we're going to talk about all things Rogue, man. We got, we got Rogue, the most beautiful, attractive, amazing, gorgeous mutant of all time, man. I'm telling you, when I was a kid, Rogue was the one. Rogue was the one for me, man. Gene, I don't know, man. It was just, it was Rogue and her voice and how it would sound, you know. And she would tell me, Hugo, shut Oh my God, man. I would just melt. I would melt, man. Anyway, man, we got Rogue right here in the house here tonight, here today, this morning. Whenever you are watching it at this moment, we got Rogue from X-Men 97, Marvel Legends, man. And we're going to get this thing out the box. We're going to talk about the evolution of Rogue, man. Because, you know, Rogue, the first action figure, oh, we're going to talk about it. Was it good? Was it horrible? Was it beautiful? Hey, it was none of those things, man. That, it was horrendous. But uh, we'll get down to it, man. Let's talk about the card. Mind the fact that the barcode is there. We got Rogue right there on the left, right? We got Marvel's Rogue. Uh, uh, as you can see, she comes with a plain hand and a fisted uh, hand and a glove. You know, you know what her powers are, man. If she touch you, it's over, man. You know, unless you're Magneto, lucky mug. Now, check it out. We got Rogue right there. Product shot of the figure. And we got all the other characters in this line, man. I have all of them. I'm excited, man. I, uh, once I get the up, I'm up, at the moment, I'm updating my X-Men shelf. So, uh, yeah, man. I think this is going to replace all the other rogues. You know how it is, man. You find a nice rogue. You know, I know that this rogue right here, the 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 jacket's green. I remember it being brown in the other uh, cartoon. But anyway, man, let's get it out the box. Let's do our thing. We got rogue in the house. Let's go. What the hell is this? What the hell is this? Did I just pull the biggest switcheroo of your life, man? We got rogue right here, man. And if you don't know who this rogue is, well, I'm going to let you know who it is right now. So I've been collecting for a very long time, right? Back when they dropped the Marvel Legends, I think it was like 2002, um, they first dropped Wolverine in one of the, uh, I think, was he in the first wave or second wave? He was in the second wave. I think it was the second or third wave, man. He was in one, I know he, was, he wasn't in the first. But anyway, and uh, um, they had uh, Gambit, Beast. I think they even had Magneto, right? In these, uh, either in the third, fourth wave of action figures of the first Marvel Legends made by Toy Biz, right? And in order for you to get your hands on this one, right? You had to buy a five pack to get rogue, right? Because you were gonna get rogue. You needed to complete your your uh, X Men uh, team. You had to, man. And so this is what we had. And at that time, you know, okay, you know, we could look past the fact that it looked like this. You know, the face, the body, the scope. It just, uh, it was rogue, you know. And we weren't, we weren't, we weren't presented anything. Uh, 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 we weren't shown anything that could be great at the time you know at the time i think we had a nice wolverine you know what i'm saying but when you look back at it now like the toy biz toys not all of them look nice you know it's just what we had at the time we had a six inch action figure and it was fully articulated and we just had to have it and you had to get these guys the only way to excuse me the only way to get her was to get the five pack so you got the five pack you know uh the cool thing about that five pack i think wolverine he was unmasked uh i think uh beast had a coat you know, I'm going off all off memory. And then you had you had a Magneto with an open mouth, you know, and uh, I don't think he had the helmet. I remember his mouth being open, but the the, the and the uh, the helmet was always detachable. But anyway, maybe I'll pull that one out, but do some B-roll. But uh, yeah, and you had to get this, you know, and, and I still have this figure, man. Why do you still have it, Hugo? Well, I have a bunch of Toy Biz X-Men that I just used to pose with the, the Sentinels. So it looks like the Sentinels are getting over. They're beating them, winning them. They're winning uh, the fight. But yeah, man, look, we have this one, you know. The cool thing I think I could say is her hair was tight, you know. The hair scope is nice on this one. The coat, you know, I mean, this figure is 22 years old, I think, right? This guy's old. Look, the, 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 um, what do you call it? What you call it? The jacket is starting to flake. Which is, you know, I had I had this blade Toy Biz one, you know, I've had it for so long. And then uh, either I took it out the package and then immediately the thing just started flaking, man. So, yeah. Anyway, and then uh, uh, yeah, the buttocks. <laughs> uh, Rogue, Rogue, they got that uh, uh, picture of her laying down looking at Apocalypse after Apocalypse just pushed her down or did some kind of move anyway so look at this kind of uh, articulation right here it's kind of like on the side you know and then you have a uh, a hinge right here you know 
uh, articulated feet. Um, yeah, you know, and these things right here are pretty cool. These uh, uh, shields right, uh, or knee pads, they, they don't hinder. And you know, with these particular figures, they had uh, finger articulation. So, you know, I mean, it's, 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 it's uh, you know, we've gone a long way with the rogues. Uh, but I keep this one just to remind myself that, uh, um, you know, and, and one thing I do like about this one is the belt, you know, it's loose and it, there's a lot of detail in the, in the jacket. Of course, it's just, it's just the face sculpt is what makes it. Yeah. You know, but out with the old and with the new man, let's keep it going. Let's keep it going. And here we have 2016 rogue man. 2016 rogue okay so it was like what 10 uh that, is, that one dropped in like 2006 or 2005 and then this one dropped in 2016 and we got this this figure you know at the time bang you know it was like cool they they just started releasing marvel legends x-men made by by hasbro and uh um in the in the mo in those current packaging i know that they had a after Toy Biz, they had an early version of Hasbro action figures that were in cards. Um, but these ones were the ones that I was looking forward to. And when they, this one came with this came in the Juggernaut wave, this came with Deadpool, I think, uh, ugly looking Phoenix. And then uh, um, I th was Gambit in this wave? I forget. But anyway, it had Rogue and Rogue stood out. Like, because, you know, I just came, like I just told you guys, I sh that, that last Rogue we had, we had to wait an another 10 years for us to get something like this. You know, or at least I did. You know what I'm saying? And this is the only one I thought. Uh, uh, yeah. I said, oh, look, she got that. I wonder if that's the same jacket. But anyway, it's loose. Nice, you know, the waist. And, um, you know, the face scope is okay. Her eyes are looking somewhere else, man. But, you know, at the time, you're like, oh, this is dope. We got the ultimate rogue, man. And, um, yeah, you know. And, like, like the knee pads here aren't as nice as those, the other ones on the Toy Biz ones because they go all the way up. But, and uh but this one's a nice shiny dark green almost dark yellow kind of uh outfit she has going on the x logo there the hair is cool like right now the, my favorite hair is the one on the one i just showed you so this is 2016 rogue and then and then in 2019 oh my god it just keeps getting better in 2019 they dropped the uh a, a new uh new x-men figures in the in retro cards and this was one of them, man. This was like a Target exclusive. And I thought this one was tight because of the beautiful face, man. I'm telling you, man, Rogue's always been hot, man. Um, did it look like like the one from uh, the cartoon? Not necessarily, but you knew she just had to look fine. <laughs> uh, this is a borderline doll, you know. And then, uh, yeah, man. And, and, and this one was dope. You know, this one is dope. You know, so it's like it's a light. It's a still dark green. Not as dark as the other one, a brighter yellow. Um, these these things keep are loose. Excuse me. These things here are loose, you know, but they don't fall all the way down to the ankle. And then, you know, you got the nice little detail right here on this turtleneck, V-neck kind of thing going on right here. And then, yeah, you know, and um, this one wasn't that bad. And then, the and then oh, as you can see, there's parts of the coat that are kind of funny because... You know, you, you see the yellow right there. You know what I'm saying? Uh, the outfit where it should be the coat. But whatever, man. No one's looking at that close when it's in on the shelf. So, but yeah, I thought the head scope on this thing was beautiful, man. Beautiful. And then we had an Age of Apocalypse robe. Not my favorite figure. But the scope on this one was tight. I got this one from Whatnot, I think. I'm missing the little yellow thing right here, so it looks kind of funny. But, uh, you know, banging, banging for obvious reasons. Um, but this head sculpt is tight. Um, and, and I think this one was right after that Rogue I just showed you previously. So what is that? Four four Rogue action figures? I take this head off because I'm, you know, I'm not, you know, this one, you saw it, right? Okay, cool. Bring back this Rogue right here. Pop the head open. And this is the... How I pose them on the shelf. See, this is tight. This is clean. Get this so the head out of here. And yeah, you know, she looks dope with this head sculpt on this body. So 
Yeah. Now let's go to the main event, the most current Rogue. And here we have the Mew Another Hour Rogue from X-Men 97's Marvel Legends line. Man, did I say that right? Uh, but you know what I'm trying to say, man. We got Rogue right here. Man, it took me a minute to get this thing to actually stand up. But uh, I don't think I spent that much time standing up the other ones. But I don't remember me holding them. <laughs> I mean, I don't remember uh, me trying to uh, make them stand. I just remember me holding them. Anyway, uh, yeah, man. So uh, what do you think? You know, is she better than the other ones? This one is supposed to represent the cartoon, man. Uh, I think she's banging, you know? It's it's hard to go wrong with a with a rogue action figure sometimes, unless you know it's twenty years ago, <laughs> or the twenty sixteen one. That face go was like, oh, you know. But the last two uh, and this one, uh, these last three rogues, I think are cool. I like at least the head sculpts are very pretty, you know. And uh, yeah, man, look, like the detail on these X Men ninety seven head sculpts are fantastic, man. Like the Gambit looks dope, the Bishop looks dope, Logan looks dope. I haven't pulled out Magneto, uh, but from the um, uh, um, from looking at it from the card, Magneto has a huge nose, man. And it's like, it's like, it's like, I feel like when they drop cartoon or comic, um, head, comic head, head scopes, it's, it's the, the faces just look better, man. Yeah. Look at that. You know? And you know, this one isn't suffering from, uh, uh, well, I see, you can see there's in the jacket, they, they still haven't fixed this where you kind of see the outline of her body and the uh, the hole in the jacket, you know. So it'd be nice to get like some type of um um like not 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 like the lead the pleather one over there that eventually will flake in twenty years, but you know, a nice jacket, like a gambit one. You know what I'm saying? Like the one on, on the Mayfix one. And so yeah, so there you know, let's talk about it. It's I like the wrinkles in the green jacket on the arms right here. Uh, the big X logo, the nice thick B neck right here. You know, on the other one, it's a little bit faint, but this one is obviously there, man. And in the thick ass headband right here, you know, she's working out, so catching all that sweat. And in the hair, look at the hair, man. You know, I wish it had little streaks of black, but it's nice. It is nice. You know, the eyes, the nose. You know, man, she looking banging, and then lips, beautiful, man, beautiful, and uh, uh and then the, you got the belt. The other one is this one is a little loose, but the other ones are looser. Maybe I like it better when it's like this, you know, kind of like who had who had a who had a long thick belt recently? Oh, that daredevil belt was like, yeah, man. So if they took that daredevil belt or the size of it and put it on her, I think it looked better on her. And then yeah, rogue right here, yeah, and look, and they painted. They painted the uh, the strips right here that go over her, her knees on the figure. And then the knee pads, like the other ones, I showed you the other ones were like protruding out, right? These ones they actually painted on. I mean, are, are kind of like they, they sculpted it on the knees. It's not protruding, but it's it's not hanging either. So it's like pasted against or, or glued onto the kneecaps. So, yeah, I mean, the aesthetics of this, I like it. I like the wrinkles on the jacket. I like the X right here. Um, yeah, you know, and I think these are telecoms, right? Like she, it's a chest right here, and then she's able to reach out to an X Men. But um, yeah, let's talk about articulation. So, how far can she look down? She can only look this high, because obviously it's you know the the hair is gonna hinder it. You know, uh, she has a uh, waist swivel right here. Now wait, well. Kind of like a diaphragm cut kind of right here by the bus, you know, so, and, and so, and then she has no butterfly joints, of course, but, um, single, uh, single, it's not double genuine elbows, it's just single hinge. So, and then, they, you know, you got swivel right here so you can make it, you know, like she's ready to, you know, get her punch ready. And then we have... Hinges at the wrist. And she comes with two pairs of hands. So she has this one right here with the glove right here. So when she takes off the glove, you know it's on, man. You know, and it's, uh, yeah, it's pretty tight. All the, I, like, I think the other row figures had the same thing. And then she has uh, fisted hands. Here's the other one right here. 
I'll just do the accessories because there's not much right now. And then the, the naked hand, you know? So, the last thing you ever want to see is Rogue take her gloves off. Or is it Magneto? But, yeah, man. So, and we have, we have a cut right here, as you can see, at the thigh. A double jointed knees, you know, because she will be kneeing people. And then a hinge at the feet. You know, it, it's it took me a while to break that in. It took me a while to get her to actually pose, man. I mean, not pose, but stand. But um, yeah, let's make it do the heartbreak here real quick. Uh, there we go. I can fly. But yeah, I mean, we did the accessories. You saw what it came with. But um, that's the articulation on this figure, man. How far did we do? This is how far she can go down. Um, and look up. So you're going to get into some nice, decent flying poses, you know? So my final thoughts, man. What do you think about this Rogue? Do you think she's better than the other ones that I showed you today? Do you think this is the top-notch Marvel Legends Rogue of all time, man? I know that the, Mayf the, the Mayfex is going to drop one next year in 2025. And, uh, yeah, I'm excited, man, because Mayfex figures of X-Men are, are pretty dope. And, and um, if it's anything like the Gambit coat, or the Gambit figure, or any of the X-Men Mayfix figures, they're so tight, I'm excited, and that one's going to be one of the illest Rogue Action figures of all time, but for now, we have this one right here, which is pretty cool, I'm happy to have it, uh, it's, it's going to uh, possibly replace the other ones I have, or maybe I'll do a few head scope changes, show you how it looks, and yeah, man, all right, talk to you guys on the other side, peace. Hella action figures. Damn right. The collection keeps getting bigger. Hell yeah. Man, will it ever stop? Hell no. I don't know. Look what I bought. New stuff. Brand new exclusives. Comic Con, why'd you do this? I buy them when they're on sale. Oh hell, that's the lie I tell. Gotta have all the Marvel Legends. Why is Deadpool so expensive? Got a zero interest credit card. My family should be alarmed. Oh yes, CFA at its got my toys. Collectors hating got my toys. Crush comics got my toys. What are my toys? My toys. CFA at its got my toys. Collectors hating got my toys. Crush comics got my toys. What are my toys? My toys. What you know about articulation and the advanced dances I be making? Without using any that, any that Whack museum wax, oh yes With straight precision and focus You tip one over and it's so hopeless Too many times to recall I would hear him fall Walk in the room and I would fall Like, huh, how could that happen? How can my figure take a fall so tragic? So I got some fish wire to see me hang him Two fly chicks broke a storm beat banging And how about that? Harley Quinn, that play arts figure could make a man sin. And I know y'all, it's a borderline doll, but a doll nonetheless. Oh yes, CFA at its got my toys.